Okay, so this is the final video in this series, and I just wanted to talk briefly about where to go from here. Uh, you learned a lot during the course of this series, but I assure you there is a lot to learn. I've been learning for almost 20 years now on uh, building specifically with Microsoft-based tools, and I learn something new almost every day. So just keep in mind that there's no end to it. Slow and steady wins the race. Be persistent, baby steps on a daily basis. All those good things that you already know about mastering a topic. Uh, they apply here in software development as well. Don't get discouraged. Just keep on learning and pushing your skills forward and have a plan in place to do that. Some topics that I think that you need to focus on specifically. The C-sharp syntax. You learned some of it in the first day's worth of videos in this series. However, there are some additional data types you should learn about. You should learn about how uh, the data types are managed and what boxing and unboxing means. You should learn more about building classes and specifically about object-oriented programming. Uh, I think that that is a huge topic. You could spend a year or two just really wrapping your mind around and understanding that and design your applications in an object-oriented sort of way. Uh, in a enterprise or team development scenario. Uh, definitely need to learn something about exception handling, which I avoided completely in this series of videos, but that is crucial uh, as you build applications for the Windows Phone. Again, with regard to the previous video, we talked about specifics about how do I know what will happen when the user's phone is completely filled up and I try to store just one more file on it. What will happen? Will my application crash? How will it react? Having exception handling sprinkled throughout your application uh, will, in some key areas, will help to make sure that it's robust and will degrade gracefully in those scenarios. Also, there's a lot to learn about Silverlight. We learned a lot on day two and then on day three about Silverlight, but there's more to learn, including how to use Blend to create more interactive user uh, experiences and how to use animations. We avoided that topic completely how to use Blend to create animations or how to create animations just in XAML itself. That's a big area that I think most developers would want to learn a little something about to add a little flair to the application. Um, as you progress beyond applications that sit only on the phone and you need to communicate with a server, with a web server on the back end to store information that they can then access via their phone or share information that multiple users can uh, can use amongst themselves, you're going to need a couple of additional tools. Uh, and it's not going to be easy, I'll warn you up front. You're going to need to learn something about creating databases using SQL Server. Specifically, you want to learn about uh, how to create relational databases, how to relate tables together, creating columns, managing SQL using the T-SQL language, then how to communicate from the phone with your back-end database using a technology called Windows Communication Foundation, or rather WCF. Again, passing data back and forth between the phone and a centralized web server. We saw a little bit of that, a, sm a, a tiny smattering of it when we used that Terra service web service within our application. That was a form of WCF, but I think you need to become even more intimately familiar with it if you intend to do that on a regular basis. And then finally, uh, to uh, kind of switch gears back to SQL Server, you're going to store data in a database, in, a, in, a, uh, in an application that knows how to manage data uh, in a very organized sort of way. You're going to need to use the Entity Framework in order to accomplish that. So there's a lot to learn. Use those keywords as some starting points for your exploration on your own. There are just a ton of resources available on Microsoft.com through the internet at large and then also one last push for LearnVisualStudio.net where I believe you'll find a very user-friendly, a very beginner-friendly way of, of getting into that topic matter. Okay, specifically regarding the phone itself, there were three resources that helped me as I got started. Uh, on the Windows Phone Developer site, so http colon slash slash developer.windowsphone.com, click on Resources. And this will lead you to the msdn.microsoft.com library under the Windows Phone Development section. And here, there are some great starting points for getting started with the Windows Phone. Uh, Windows Phone developer tools, fundamental concepts for the Windows Phone, and just article after article that will help you take advantage of all the features of the phone, not just those that we covered in this series of videos. The other place that I think you should consider visiting is the 
Windows Phone 7 training kit. Admittedly, I didn't read everything in the training kit. However, I read enough to become more proficient and I like the style and the pace uh, as well in this training kit. It was very helpful. Uh, additionally, you can learn about the XNA framework for Windows phones to build more Xbox-like applications rather than more business-oriented or data-oriented applications. And then the final place that I would recommend that you take a look at, there's an author by the name of Charles Petzold. And he's been writing a book and been releasing previews of it for free in the form of a PDF uh, on his website. So visit charlespetzold.com slash phone. Uh, eventually it'll be published by Microsoft Press and available in your local bookstore. Uh, I don't know how long he's going to be able to um, provide uh, a free version of the book online, but uh, perhaps well, you'll catch that before it, it, it goes away. Uh, at the very least, you'll be able to buy the book. Okay, so I want to wish you, uh, warmly wish you, the best of success as you continue on from here. I appreciate your attention as you work through the series of videos. I hope it was helpful. Please send me a note to let me know or let the guys at Microsoft know that you appreciate this training and I'm sure they'll make sure that you get more of it. So thank you and have a great day. Mm -hmm.